Born organized and proud of it, Christy Marsh is known around these parts as my bonus daughter. Others know Christy as the author of the book Little Changes, Tales of a Reluctant Home Economics Pioneer and founder of ChooseWiser.com. Christy gently educates others on how to create a healthier home through the products in which we smother our body, foods we devour, and the surroundings in which we immerse ourselves. So I needed someone today who, who none the better, if we're going to clean a bathroom sink, I thought maybe Marla could come up and help me. <laughs> now this is a cooking show, and we'll have you come and stand on this side. Okay. This I need to be <laughs> I'm a B.O. You can't knock my notes down on the ground. I apologize. <laughs> I'm very careful not to step on the B.O.'s toes. <laughs> um, would you like to cook with a chef's hat? Uh, I don't mind. Okay. Some people don't like costumes. I'm really into costumes. There we go. <laughs> so what we're going to create today is equivalent to like a soft scrub for your ceramic um, bathroom sinks the top of the, you know, the toilets around the edges, something that you can use in there, but saves you money and is kind to your body. You don't have to open the windows just to be locked in that little bathroom to clean your sink, okay? So what we're going to use, we're going to start off with a couple of ingredients. Let's start off with this one, baking soda. We're familiar with baking soda. <laughs> It is um, not abrasive, it's a whitener, it's a deodorizer, and I bet if we had a four hour meeting just on baking soda, we could come up with about 200 things in the house that we could do with this cheap little box, right? Costco, we have Costco's, I know BJ's, Costco's, box, bag like this, $3. Multiple, multiple reasons you can use this around the house. For today, Marla, we'd like a quarter cup of the baking soda into this bowl. Like that, that in. There you go. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. My husband says it's better to have a wife that can cook and doesn't cook often than one that can't cook and cooks all the time. <laughs> Same with your bathroom cleaning supplies. <laughs> so then we're going to take two tablespoons, this one here, of Castile soap. Has anyone heard of Castile soap before? Dr. Okay. Bronner's? That's the one that I bought, yes. I bought a uh, Dr. Bronner's brand. I can get it at Target and the Whole Foods around my homes. And this is all-purpose, vegetable-based. It doesn't include some of the harsh things that some of the hands... Yeah. What's, what's the smell? It's peppermint. It is peppermint. Good. I, um, it doesn't include something that in my vocabulary would be triclosan. Or, it's a very kind, gentle... A lot of the moms I speak to, their children are fighting allergies, skin issues, respiratory problems, and so they're doing everything they can to make the household much kinder. So again, I bought this size at Whole Foods. It also comes something like this. Okay, how are we looking over there? Good. Is it bubbling, fizzing, or anything? No, okay. not really. Now, we are going to add in our little batch. Do I need to stir? Um, not yet. Not we'll yet. add okay. in one more thing. We're going to add one teaspoon of vegetable glycerin. Okay. Okay. Anyone heard of vegetable glycerin before? Mm -hmm. Have you? Do you use it in? Making soap bubbles. <laughs> soap bubbles. I love it. Excellent. So, again, it's very kind. Matter of fact, most of my ingredients, I have a hard time in my house finding them because I don't know if they're in the bathroom or the kitchen. All, the vegetable glycerin can also be used in baking, so I'm constantly going up and down the stairs. Oh, the cider vinegar I washed my hair with is downstairs today. <laughs> okay, so we have the two teaspoons of vegetable glycerin. The vegetable glycerin is not necessary. We're going to have you next make yours in a few minutes, but we're not putting vegetable glycerin in there. It is necessary if you're making a large... You can stir. I know you I want to. I'm done. To. <laughs> the vegetable glycerin, if you're making a larger batch, helps it... Um, as a natural preservative. Because one of the things that we tend to remove when you're using simpler ingredients is a lot of these synthetic preservatives that are found in our cleaners, but also again in our foods and then again in my lipstick. We're kind of selecting simpler. How's it looking? 
Oh, wow. You want to eat it. Wow, she has done this before. <laughs> Very nice. So it'll be about the consistency of a toothpaste or so. And the nice thing about this is I'm the type of cook that you say, oh, smidgen more, a little bit of that, and you can play around with it. So when you're creating yours in a few minutes, you'll be getting it to the, the consistency of a, a runny tooth, a warm toothpaste. <laughs> <laughs> so I tried, to, like I said, I tried to make this intriguing for my guests. And I said, well, what can we do to make it even more fun? And so I introduced a little bit of essential oils because they like to have maybe that, that smell of lavender or tea tree oil. They want to experience that as they're cleaning. But again, a lot of synthetic fragrance can team some hormone disruptors that we're realizing, not a good idea. So we can go back. We still can have a lot of this stuff. It's not like we don't have to clean homes anymore. That would have been a good idea. Oh, maybe not. So with uh, essential oils, though, you don't put a lot in. Of course, we're putting it in the peppermint, but we're just demonstrating. Go ahead. Two drops? Two then? drops, exactly. Something very small. It will create your new batch. I'm counting. <laughs> <laughs> now, this is not, remember, it's not a facial cream scrub, although there's no harm in that. It's for your sinks. And so I recommend that once you create your batches at home, that you then label it. You know, have some fun with it. I have a weed killer, mommy's margarita weed killer spray. And make up your own names. Why not? And have fun with this. But you do need to label it so you don't get it confused with the other products that you're, that you're using. There you go. That's lovely. A big hand for our sink queen. <laughs> you can learn more about Christy Marsh at her website, choosewiser.com. Adore who you are. Adore where you are. Adore who you're with.